This video features a non-chemically treated cadaver specimen prepared by the faculty of the Sports Medicine Acupuncture Certification Program for Module 1, the Spinal Column. It is a detailed dissection of the region of the Wato Jaji points at the level of T9. Before getting to the cadaver video, let's take a moment to review the relevant anatomy. The Wato Jaji points are located 0.5 to 1 sun from the midline on the posterior aspect of the body. For the thoracic region, it is imperative for safety that the 0.5 sun measurement is used, as a greater distance from the midline increases the risk of causing a pneumothorax, especially with deeper perpendicular needling. The Wato Jaji points are also motor points. Depending on the depth, motor points of different muscles are reached. The most superficial motor points reached are that of the spinalis, which is the most medial of the erector spinae muscle group. The deeper motor points reached are the multifidi, part of the transversospinalis muscle group. This group is frequently referred to as the deep paraspinals. This video specifically examines the Wato Jaji point at the level of T9, starting with the skin and progressing layer by layer through the subcutaneous fat the lower trapezius, the spinalis thoracis, the deep paraspinals, and ending at the lamina. The video shows the layers in succession and potential safe needling depth for patients. However, we do not advocate deep needling for every condition, and assessment of the points in the patients must be considered for safety and efficacy. In some situations, a more superficial needle insertion is suggested. In other situations, a deeper insertion is desirable. Palpating for excess and deficiency, along with other findings, will inform needle technique and depth. At AccuSport Education, we teach proper needling technique and depth for the Wato Jaji points based on clinical efficacy, patient safety, and patient comfort. A thorough understanding of the various layers is vital for proper needling. Let's now look at these layers on a non-chemically treated cadaver specimen. All right, so with a deeper needling of Wato Jaji point at T9, let's look at the layers that will be penetrating. Okay, so we've already gone over subcutaneous, there's the skin, subcutaneous fat. Then we have the posterior aspect here at T9. This would be the lower trapezius. This tissue here would be the latissimus dorsi, so we pull that back, retract it back. Then the next tissue that the needle will be going through with the Wato Jaji will be the erector spinae. So if we take the erector spinae, we retract that back, we go through the erector spinae, the needle would then, with deeper penetration, go into the deep paraspinal muscles, which lie directly on top of the lamina. So the deep needle of Wato Jaji point, if it did go to the bone, it would go to the lamina. So this now, Let's take these deep paraspinal muscles off so we can show the bone. All right, so continuing with the anatomy of the watcher Jaji, as we've discussed, we've got the skin, we've got the subcutaneous tissue, we've got the lower trapezius, peeling that away. The latissimus dorsi, we peel that away. The needle of the Wato Jaji point at T9 is not going to affect the latissimus dorsi, which is moving out of the way so we can see. Now, the deeper layer, we've got the erector spinae. So the needle will be going through the erector spinae as well. We retract that back. Okay, so then now, as we can see, here's the deep paraspinal muscle that covers the lamina, the deep paraspinals. Now, if we retract this back, Track that back. Now, this gray tissue that you can see. Right there, that's going to be the vertebra. So this would be the lamina. So the acupuncture needle would be hitting the lamina with a deep insertion. 
So 0.5 soon away from the spinous process of T9, needling all the way down to the bone, it would be hitting this region right here at the lamina. So let's go ahead and put these tissues back. And the Watteau Jaji point going directly into a deep needling would then, I can feel it now, tapping on the lamina right there. Now you can see how deep I am at the T9, 0.5 soon away, is that the needle on the bone is almost to the coil, and this is an uh, inch and a half needle. 